feel like I'm the Robin Hood of photography because I steal views from the rich and I give to the people who don't have enough money to get into those penthouse views. Victor Thomas is a 25-year-old college dropout who just a few years ago was your typical young photographer. Yeah, I'm gonna chill out. Posting street scenes in his hometown of Brooklyn and hoping someone would notice. But his social media feeds were flooding with something different. Soaring images captured on top of some of the tallest buildings in the world by people breaking trespassing laws, defying gravity, and posting online to a global audience of millions. Come on with it. Videos like these inspired Victor to become Vic Invades. And today, he's one of hundreds of so-called urban explorers, walking the roof lines in pursuit of art, adrenaline, and cash. Got a little doll too, sorry about that. For some rooftoppers, climbing is a full-time job. Right here? So this is your room at the top? Yeah. For Vic Invades, he still is at home with his grandmother. This is like one big jungle gym of the city, you know, I take advantage of it. This is Vic Invades the sidewalk? Vic Invades jaywalking. This is Vic Invades the crosswalk. How much money do you think you can make? Um, I feel like I can make a few, few millions. I, I'm, 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 I may be pushing it, but I feel like I can get there. Vic is trying to rise to the same level as Vitaly Raskolov and Vadim Makarov, two of Rooftopping's most famous and daring personalities. Yes. And the founders of the brand On The Roofs. The duo can earn $10,000 or more per project, and they've appeared in ads for Canon, Timberland, and Converse, among others. What companies have paid you for roofing? Converse is the one, yeah. They didn't tell me to do it, but it was more of, Victor, go out and do what you do, so I gave him a shot. Vic says the billion dollar company sent him shoes and paid him $750 for this picture on top of the Manhattan Bridge, which he climbed illegally. CBS News requested an interview with Converse and they responded with this statement. While we encourage all people to follow their passions, we do not advocate nor encourage illegal practices. People would say it's dumb to sit on the edge of a building and dangle your feet out. At the same time, we have construction workers who do it without harnesses, too. I mean, they're getting paid for it at the same time, but still, I'm going up there for a purpose, too. I go up there to document it, you know? I go up there with my camera. And cameras also document climbers falling to their death. Still, there's no deterring Vic or his friend Josh as they take their cameras and go on their next invasion. Our journey is up there. How do you get into a building? any building that you want to climb. Doors are always open. You just check the door and you just, you get lucky. We watch from a distance as Vic and Josh slip into a construction site in Brooklyn and start to climb. It's about 5 a.m. on the Brooklyn waterfront. Vic invades, has just made his way to a 400 foot residential tower, not yet built. Hey, Vic, what floor are you on? I'm about to head to the top floor now. He's pooping, man. Oh, I see him. Look at it, there he is. Wow. So you got this one under your belt. What's next? Our day isn't ending yet. You know, the sky's the limit. 